Hello, my lovely YouTubers. Welcome back to my boudoir. Today I have a haul, and it is a small one, and it is Jerlain. Now, some of you might not think I'm pronouncing it right, but I asked my SA sales associate, what is the correct pronunciation? I said, some people say this, that, the other. She says it's Jerlain. Lain. So that's how I'm pronouncing it. Jerlain. So I picked up three products from them. I actually had a foundation match. Then I picked up their very famous terracotta bronzer except I decided that I didn't want a bronzer to just bronze and contour I wanted to be matched with a finishing powder so I wanted well I wanted to use my bronzer as a finishing powder so I wanted it matched just like a shade lighter than my foundation so I can use it as an all-over finishing powder because it has just very very beautiful um, sparkles in it that I just love 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 and I've only saw I saw a lot of blog um, posts and swatches about it but I haven't seen any um, YouTube videos for Jerlaine that match you know that show their browns bronzers to match you know our um, ebony skin so the third thing I got was actually a setting powder so let's get started so we're going to start with the foundation first and my color is 25 Dior Fonce <laughs> whatever that is anyway so beautiful beautiful bottle I love it love it love it now they actually had two shades deeper than this so they have some beautiful colors for our ebony complexion so there it is again on the back on the bottom 25 and it has a nice little pump and it's kind of squirt and show you what my color looks like now it's actually on my forearm so of course it's gonna look darker than my skin I'm sorry it's gonna look lighter than my skin but that is my color very very pretty and I had it matched in here to my forearm because this this color and my forearm is the exact complexion of my you know my cheek and eye area and that's the area that I like to match my foundation to I'm lighter in this area and more redder in this area and I'm darker in this area so if I matched to my forehead or you know my cheekbone or my chin it comes out darker so I never match this color I match the colors in here because I know that's the exact same color of here and I read that somewhere that you should match your foundations you know to the inner of your face not the outer because the outer gets exposed to more sun so i could be wrong but you know that's what i was told you know different people tell you different things and you kind of just have to play around with the foundation and our mixed colors but for me i like to match it here and then it may appear a little lighter, but I have oily skin. As my natural oils come through, it blends it out. So next I'm going to show you the terracotta bronzing powder. Now, I got 03. Now their colors start from 00 and goes all the way up to 08. And the reason I got 03 is because I told you that I wanted to wear mine as a finishing powder over my setting powder. I have tons of bronzing powders and this little baby is $65. So I didn't want to pay $65 just to use my bronzer on, you know, my my cheek, my um, chin, cheek bone. I think it's just such a waste of product. I have a NARS bronzer that is really dark. I can only wear it around here and I can only wear it, you know, just the times that I wear it here and it's 
it's going to last me for the next 30 years. So this is what it looks like on the outside. And there it is again, Terracotta 03. And this is my color. It's just simply beautiful and it just looks so beautiful over the foundation. I mean, just kind of look at these two colors together. It's just simply beautiful. And let me swipe it for you. I don't know that you can see it on my finger. And I'll swipe it on my arm. Definitely shows up on my arm. I'm also going to do a blog post for you too. Let's see. Here it is. Right here. So once again, there it is. Terracotta. And again, that color is 03. I almost got 05, but it was just a tad bit darker. But I knew it would be a tad bit darker. If you could just see how it just blends into my skin, it's just so beautiful. It was just a tad bit darker, and then I knew that it would make these areas a little darker. So, now this is there pressed powder. They call it pressed powder. It's also a translucent. This is the compact. Very pretty and small. And on the bottom it says Transparente 01. <laughs> so let's see how to open it. Oh, it just pops open. Here's the open. This little, I just like this and it popped open. Okay. So, now, I don't know if you can tell, it looks a little beige. Let's give it some, put it in the sun, in the light. There you go. So I'm going to swipe it. Kind of white like your normal trans, transparent translucents. Get your cute little tiny flat powder puff with their name on it. But I carry a retractable brush. And wow, it just goes, I almost just swiped it twice and I was going to rub it in. It just, it's transparent. It's just, look how it just fades into my skin. That is so pretty. I wish that I could have had a face show <laughs> at that counter. OMG. Anyway, so this is my haul. I actually take pictures and place them on my blog, so be sure and click the link below. And I'm, I always take pictures out in the sun, so you're really getting the true colors of the product. So that's my haul for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.